outdated, unwanted, but full of forgotten data. And I was surprised that I found people's entire digital lives. A simple experiment uncovers a treasure trove for potential identity thieves. Personal information, banking information, it had photos and videos, their social security numbers, enough data to steal their identities. Tonight, a warning for everyone to think twice about how you get rid of old digital devices. I will never, ever sell a device that has storage in it ever again. Smartphones, tablets, laptops, and the like can spill your secrets even after they've been wiped clean. Consumer problem solver Herb Weisbaum is here with more on what to do and what not to do with your used gadgets. Herb? Dana and Mary, most smart devices are designed to save your personal information. You may think you've erased everything, but that cell phone or tablet computer could still be loaded with data, the sort of stuff an identity thief can use to target you. It's a hidden security risk you need to know about. And I was surprised that I found people's entire digital lives. Robert Siciliano is an identity theft expert with McAfee, the digital security software company. And like many of us, he would sell his old digital devices when he upgraded to new ones. Not anymore. I will never, ever sell a device that has storage in it ever again. Here's why. Siciliano did a little experiment. He went on Craigslist and bought a bunch of digital devices. I bought iPhones, iPads, laptops, desktops, netbooks, notebooks. I wanted to see what type of information I could find on them. Of the 30 devices you bought, how many were you able to retrieve data from? I was able to retrieve data on over half of them. And here's the really scary part. In most cases, the person selling the device thought they'd purge the data by following the manufacturer's instructions. But for someone who knows computers, it wasn't hard to retrieve. I bought this from a student. It had all of his personal information, banking information. It had photos and videos, videos of him at a concert, and a lot of pornography. Way too much information for me. This was from a consumer desktop. This had the family's entire personal information, their banking information, their social security numbers, enough data to steal their identities or take over existing accounts. This hard drive came off of a laptop from a business. This had all kinds of business documents, employee records. This device right here would be considered a data breach with the amount of information that was on there. Siciliano says equipment manufacturers and software developers need to do a better job so people can effectively erase and delete the data stored on their devices. The problem with a lot of the digital devices that we have today is when you reset the operating system, when you reinstall or reformat, it doesn't often do the job in which it says it does. So you're leaving a lot of breadcrumbs that can be all spliced back together, which allows a bad guy to basically steal your identity. Siciliano says Blackberries were the best at completely scrubbing deleted data. Apple products also did a good job. He says Android devices were the worst. Even when people did a factory reset, he could still find a tremendous amount of data. Siciliano also found that it's hard to completely scrub devices that run on Windows XP. Based on what you now know, will this change your behavior when you have an old device you no longer want? This study scared me so much because I'm just as guilty as, as, as anyone else as for, for selling you know, used devices on Craigslist. I will never, ever sell a device that has storage in it ever again. I will take it and put it in a vise and I will drill holes through it. I will smash it with a sledgehammer or I'll put it in a bucket of salt water for a year. But you're not going to see me selling it on Craigslist. Asked to respond to this little experiment, Microsoft tells me its new operating systems have considerably more security and privacy improvements than Windows XP. Google did not respond about its Android operating system. Now, one more thing you should know, and this is really important. Many of the used smartphones and computers Siciliano bought came with viruses or other malicious software. If he had used them, his personal information could have been compromised. Something you need to think about before you buy someone else's digital device. The money you save may not be worth the potential risk. You'll find a lot more about this on our website. Just go to comonews.com. Mary?